Hello everybody, welcome to my 2020 in the bag. I'm gonna run through all the discs that I currently have in my bags. Gonna go through from putters all the way to drivers and then show you the bag that I carry them in. For my primary putter, I use the Nate Sexton Nexus Firefly. This is a new plastic blend, came out last year. Nice stiff putter, beadless, but overstable. So these are the same ones that I've been using since last season. I probably won't switch them out until I get the 2020 version, at which point I'll start with some new ones. But these are durable enough, they're gonna last me for a whole season. And I use these for all my putts inside about 40 feet, whether it be spin putt, straddle putt, stagger stance, any of those situations, it works just great and has that little bit of overstable finish to fight the wind or to get around a tree or whatever kind of fade I'm looking for. My primary throwing kind of putter approach disc is the R-Pro Dart, I carry two. This orange one with the Oregon State Beaver stamp is a little bit straighter. This red one, brand new and pretty overstable and I think people need to see past maybe this 00 flight rating. I think it might actually be more like a 01. These R-Pro darts are pretty overstable out of the box and you can trust them up to like 300 feet and more if you have the power for it to really throw them as a hybrid mid-range type putter. So I'll use these long spin putts and short drives and approaches anywhere from 100 to 300 feet and spin putts even shorter, maybe 50 to 60 feet. So I feel like the mid-range slot, it, it tends to vary a lot for me based on the conditions I expect to play in on that specific course or tournament. I have four different molds, one of each. Uh, right now I have a Star Rat. This is gonna be my straight shot forehand mid-range or maybe short overstable backhands. It's not really, really overstable, but it's enough to kind of fight some wind. I can use this up to about 250 feet and I get less skip than I would with say a Firebird or any other driver as I'm coming into the green. So I, you might see me use this on some short drives or on some approaches, both backhand and forehand. Nice flat disc with comfortable feel that can cut through a little bit of wind. For overstable shots, I have Champion Cayman. I'll use this disc if I'm into a headwind or if I really need to know it's gonna finish hard, but it's a similar shot type to what I'd use the rat for, but just when I'm looking for a little bit more finish. For backhands primarily, I have both the KC Rock for more overstable shots and the Champion Mako 3. I use the Mako 3 when I need a little bit more flip up and a straight ride. The regular Rock when I'm looking for a kind of more of a hyzer or flat to finish shot or if there's a little bit of wind. So these are gonna be my primary backhand mid-range discs. For fairway drivers, the on the flippier side anyway, I have two molds. I have Star Sidewinder and Star TL3. I'll use the Star Sidewinder for a lot of my rollers or kind of high turnover shots or often from a standstill position where I have kind of awkward footing. I have to turn my back to the basket or something. I find that's a great time to disc down to the Sidewinder because you're not gonna be able to generate the power you're expecting from your normal run up and you can still get some flip up and ride out of the disc to get more distance from that awkward stance than you would with your otherwise your go-to driver that you might use from that range in a different situation. The Star TL3 I use for kind of tunnel shots, low throws that need a little turn. I'll probably throw it a little bit more often in the woods than you'll see me throw it out here at a course like this on a ball golf layout but I still may use it in a tailwind situation when I really need the disc to land flat and kind of scoot along the ground, not so much of a skip finish. I'm looking for a sort of a penetrating flat finish where it's gonna go straight across to the basket. Uh, the next disc, you've probably heard of these before, my main disc that I throw, Sexton Firebirds. Uh, this is my staple driver that I'm gonna use primarily for most of my forehand shots that are inside about 350 feet all the way down to probably about 200 or so, maybe even less if I'm kind of going around a corner or playing a skip. I carry three. I have a beat up 2015. That's great for kind of straight shots. It doesn't really flip over, but it's gonna ride straight for a long time before it finishes. I have a fairly new 2015. These are the same ones that you saw all last season. This one's a little bit more overstable. And then the most overstable is the brand new 2020 version. This one is gonna fight any wind that I'm gonna come up against where I don't have to worry at all. I can throw it, it won't go as far, but I can throw it into any wind and get that predictable finish that I'm looking for. My primary backhand kind of hybrid fairway distance driver is the Big Germ Thunderbird. I carry two. Right now I have, uh, I don't even know the years, but I think this is an 18 and this is a 19. 
So these are the two that I'm using right now, both given to me by my buddy Big Germ. This one's a little bit straighter. I'll use that for straight long shots that need a little bit of finish or for cut rollers. And this one a little newer and more overstable if I need a little more wind fighter or if I'm looking for a bigger skip to finish. I'll use these distances between like 320 and 400 is a good time for these discs if I don't have to go over something really high and need to go with a bigger hyzer and a faster disc. Probably my primary forehand distance driver is the Ecosar Excalibur. I have two of these green ones at the moment. This one a little bit more beat up and straighter and this one brand new. I like these a lot for forehands in that 350 to 400 range. 400 is probably even a little longer than they'll usually go. Uh, but if I put a little Anheuser or get a little flip, I can probably get that much. Uh, but I'm looking for these to just kind of go flat into a flip up and then a nice finish and skip. So these are really trustworthy. I find that they flip up, but they never they don't really drift left very easily where when I do throw forehands with a destroyer, I do sometimes like to have that left drift, but when I'm looking for more control, I go to these X-Cals and they, as they kind of stay in their lane a little bit better for me than the destroyer does, while they maybe sacrifice just a touch of distance, I'll take that for a little more control. Speaking of destroyers, I got a bunch of them. You may recognize this one if you've been following me. It's my flippiest. I've had this in my bag a couple years. Nice swirly one. Uh, this one is great for shots where I really don't want to have a left finish or a skip. I need a lot of distance, but I need a kind of a mellow finish or I need to stay away from some out of bounds on the left side. So you'll see me use that one. And also this is one of my most thrown for forehand because it is a little bit flippier. So it doesn't dump out of the sky quite as quick. Next in line is this blue one with the bottom stamp. This one is a little bit, uh, it's probably like my max distance stability right now. So it's a little bit beat up, but not so flippy that it's gonna ride right and finish right. Uh, I'll throw this into a headwind if I need a right finish or into just calm conditions looking for a kind of a nice big flip over ride and then finish. So this is probably my main driver for big distance. Next, I have another swirly one from the same run as the first, but this is a brand new one. So a little more overstable for big hyzers, flat shots that finish left. I'm not gonna get a whole lot of flip out of this one right away. If I throw it hard on a little bit of hyzer release, it might just flip up to flat, but probably not gonna ride right much. Then I have this little happy pig given to me by this restaurant, 808 in Portland. Really nice of them to give me these discs. I like this destroyer quite a lot. And this one is brand new, a little bit overstable. So I'm gonna use this for headwind shots, big hyzers, very similar to the pink one I just showed you, but I always gotta have a couple of those because there are water hazards. And when I'm playing my practice rounds, I don't like to throw just one shot with that disc type and not have another chance to kind of get a good rep in. So being my one of my most thrown discs, Star Destroyer, you see I have five, and a lot of them are pretty similar and they overlap quite a bit so that I can use them interchangeably if I were to lose one or while I'm practicing, I can get a couple reps and make sure I really know what shot and line I'm looking for on a given hole. The last one, I got this one from Thomas Gilbert, a nice overstable team stamp. So I'm using this one uh, when I have a headwind or when I really need that left finish, but it isn't it isn't so much that I can't get much distance out of it I think this is going to mature into a really nice disc. Hopefully if I don't lose it see this in my bag for a couple years Star strikes this one the new halo plastic. So this is a beautiful disc. I just got this I'm really looking forward to trying it and then I also have this one courtesy of lucky disc golf here in Vegas very similar feel to the destroyer but a little bit more flip at the top of the flight. So if I really need, if I have a tailwind and say there's OB on the left and the shot is 600 feet, if I throw a destroyer, it's gonna be really hard for me to overcome that tailwind and not be flirting with the out of bounds. And if I go to a forehand, I'm gonna sacrifice so much distance. So that's what these, where these are gonna come into play. I can still get that big backhand distance, even with a tailwind behind me. And now for the bag that I carry them all in, I use the Pound Octothorpe Nate Sexton Signature Edition. This is last year's colors, but the new ones are on the way. Just wanna show you guys a couple of the other little accessories I have in my bag. Number one, my Lucky Wedding Mini. I've got a bunch of these. I'm sure you've seen this before. I've got some of this hand solve. My fingers will end up getting really cracked and dry, so I gotta really stay on top of that to make sure that I don't get an injury there. This little hand carved thing somebody gave me with the N for me and then a B and a C and a J for my wife and my daughter and my dog. Extra towels in the bag at all times. In this side pocket, I got my sunglasses case uh, for this kind of sunny weather. I also have these little 
noon uh, vitamin tabs that I can put in my water. I usually keep a little foam sandpaper block in my bag as well for sanding down damage to the discs. Some chapstick as well, same, same thing with sunscreen, gotta have that. Just random stuff, disc golf pins over here, tiny little Iron Man here. And that's really about it. That's about everything that I carry with me while I play. Thank you guys so much for watching my 2020 in the bag. Make sure to subscribe to Innova's YouTube channel and give this video a like if you wanna see more content like this. If you wanna keep up with me, follow on Instagram and Facebook and make sure to comment on this video. Who do you wanna see next? What team player from Innova do you wanna see an in the bag from? We're gonna be making them all year. Thank you so much, I gotta go practice. Dang it.